In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this logo from this original image. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining it's a meet from design hackers in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take any face and turn it into a logo inside of Photoshop so to get started the first part what we're going to do is to isolate this image from the background to do that in the layers pane I'm just gonna double click on it and over here we can just click OK and now it turned from a background into a regular layer inside of the properties pane over here we have a new section that's introduced in the new version of Photoshop which is called quick actions so you can just click over here remove background and that will isolate the image from the background which is really really awesome there are also all sorts of isolation techniques but in this tutorial I'm going to focus on the part of making this into a logo the next part I want to take off the mask since when we clicked remove background it created a mask so I want to apply this mask I'm going to right click on that and choose apply layer mask the next part is turning this image into sort of a black and white silhouette so for that I'm going to go into image adjustments and I'm going to choose over here threshold so just click on that and over here you can play around with this slider and until you get something that you're satisfied with it's de it depending how how much contrast you have in your image and how many details you're going to want to have in your logo but you can see I'm just slightly playing around with this up and down until I get something I'm satisfied with I think this looks pretty awesome I'm gonna click OK and the next part what we're going to do is we're going to delete the white parts from his face because we don't want those white parts we want only the black parts to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into select and over here I'm going to choose color range now you just click once on the black and you can see whatever is white in the image over here that's the part that's going to be selected you can play around with the fuzziness a little bit if you need to you can add more colors if you need to but right now it's just black so it's just one click maybe adjust the fuzziness a little bit depending on your image resolution and then click OK by the way I didn't mention at the beginning but all the assets for this tutorial are going to be linked in the comments so you can practice because practice makes perfect so we've selected all the black colors from this image and we're going to delete off the white images the, the white colors sorry and the way I'm going to do that is just click over here in the layers pane again on the mask so once you mask it masks only the selected part and the white parts are gone the next part is going to be to apply this mask again because we don't want it to stay as a mask we can rasterize that so right click and again apply layer mask great so now we have the basic face I moved again to the um, this is called the move tool and I'm going to click command or control T this is so I can transform the image and right now I'm just gonna hold alt and start dragging this to the center and this is just to resize it and I want it to be centered on my artboard perfect we can zoom out a little bit so commander control minus and we're zoomed out enter to approve your selection and now we're set to go the next part is to make a circle around this guy over here that we've isolated so I'm going to choose the lips tool over here you have all sorts of tools you can just long click if you have another tool selected and move to the tool that you want the one that we want to create a circle is ellipse tool to create a perfect circle you're going to want to hit shift on the keyboard and just drag that out until you're satisfied with the size of your circle the next part I'm going to do is up here I'm going to change the fill to be none which is this and the stroke I'm going to choose black 
Now I'm going to push up my stroke to about 10 pixels and hit the enter key just so I can see a nice stroke around my selection. Now we can play around with this ellipse that we have and place it exactly where we want. We do want it to be behind our subject so I'm just going to drag it down beneath our subject and I think that we're starting to get a nice composition over here for our logo. The next part, what I'm going to do is I want to cut my subject as the rounded circle over here. So I'm going to click again on the ellipse layer and over here, jump back to the ellipse tool. Now you can see there's sort of a white line showing that the ellipse is selected. So we can go and go ahead and click right click and over here, I'm just going to choose Make Selection. That will create a selection around my ellipse. And I'm going to jump back to the subject and mask it again. So again, I'm just going to add a layer mask. And what that did, it just cut off my image. So it's rounded exactly like the circle behind it. Perfect. So we're getting closer to what we wanted. The next part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another circle, an inner circle. Now, of course, everything I'm showing is just optionary. It depends how you want your logo to look and feel like. But this is just an example. So I'm going to create an inner circle. So let's duplicate our outer circle just by dragging it to the in the layers pane down here to the plus. And you can see that created a duplicate. Command or Control T to adjust our or transform our duplicate. And now I'm going to hit Alt and drag this inside just so we sort of have like a double line going on around our logo face. The next part, what I'm going to do is change this from a solid stroke to a dotted one or a dashed one. Let's see what looks better. So jump back into the ellipse tool. And now we can see the ellipse options while we have the correct circle selected. And over here, instead of this stroke, I can choose a dashed line or a dotted line. Let's just choose a dashed one and see how that looks. That looks pretty awesome. Now, if you want more options for this, you can just click more options. And now, for example, you can change the gap between them. So let's change it from two to three and just see how that looks. You can see it just looks a bit different and it spaced them out a little bit more. Great, so I think we got almost everything set up. I think the last thing I'm going to do is add some text under this. So let's add some text, Design Hackers, which is my YouTube channel. In this opportunity, I'm going to request from you, if you want and if you like the video, Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please share with your friends and comment so this video can go viral. Great. So we got our typography set up. And let's just push that a bit up. So the part of the logo is ready. What we're going to do now is a little bit of styling. Let's add a background and a texture for the logo. So first of all, I want to group all of these layers that my logo consists of into a group. So just going to select them all with the shift key, hit on my keyboard and hit on this folder icon. Over here, I'm just going to double click and call this logo just to stay organized. Now we can uh, take this logo and just make sure it's centered on our artboard by snapping it. You can see these snaps. When you see this cross, it means it's exactly in place. Perfect. And hit enter to release your selection. The next part is adding the background. So let's collapse this folder over here and add a new adjustment layer by clicking the small icon down here. So this is called the adjustment layers and I'm going to add a gradient. Over here in the gradient there's all sorts of presets and I'm going to scroll down to the cloud one and over here you can choose any one of these. I'm going to go for this one and 
close that. The next part is I'm going to change it from linear to radial, which will make it rounded. You can play around with the spot that's highlighted and click OK. Let's put this beneath our logo. And now we have a nice background for our logo. The next part is adding a texture. To add a texture, I also added in the assets folder for this tutorial a texture that you can use or you can download your own texture from anywhere. So let's go for a file, place an embed, and over here are our assets, and I'm just going to select this one. Now you can see it's not covering our whole logo right now, so let's just make it a bit larger and hit enter to release your selection now so it covers only the logo what i'm going to do is right click and over here what we want to do is create a clipping mask this will mask the part only the logo part and leave our texture so you can see how that looks and what's nice about it as long as you're on this layer selected you can play around with the placement over here. Maybe you want something else highlighted or you want to move something into another place. So that was a quick tutorial of how to make a logo from a face inside of Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.